guys, welcome to my Chichi Day. Today is Thursday, also known as Beach Day. So, Houston slept over. I used to wonder what it would be like to have two puppies at the same time, at the exact same time. I can honestly say I do not wonder anymore, ever. I will never wonder. I will never want two puppies at the same time. Because this last night was a bit rough. Come on, puppies. Come on, you little ragamuffins. Come on, Houston. Come on. It's just horse poop. Step away from the horse poop. Come on. So good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It is super hot, super muggy, super amazing. Let me see what the temperature is. 28 degrees. 28 degrees in Canada already at 8 a.m. Come on, puppies. Come on. I will not be losing you. There will be no lost puppies on my watch. Let's go. Girls are getting dressed and ready to come down for the day. And, well not for the day, because we are headed out. We're gonna have a beach day. We're gonna have a girls beach day. That's a day where there are no men, because I don't know if you guys know this, but Sam doesn't always like to do the things that we want to do. And last time we went to the beach, he was like, I hate the beach, I'm done with the beach. So we left. So we don't want to make him have to do stuff just because we want to do it. So we chose a day when he'd be at work. Name that nose behind door number one. Houston! Stay with me, dude. Ah! Pony number one. Pony number two. Pony number three. Pony number four. And pony number five. Might look easier than it was. I couldn't get the bowls apart. And watch two puppies. There. Oh, puppy, get out of there. Listen, dude, you cannot go near the horses. That's, oh, he's so cute. Apparently he got into his food last night while well, he was supposed to be sleeping, ate it all. Now he has a fat belly. Right, I did it again. It is scorching hot, like scorching hot. Not heat wave hot. Today's supposed to be really hot again, 33. When there's a heat wave, there's no wind. There's no shade. There's just pure sun. I think we're probably gonna put these horses in though before we leave because it's gonna be a hot. And then we're gonna spend the day at the beach and have some amazing and have some amazing adventures. I have a bunch of stuff all packed up, ready to go. Actually, that's a lie. I have a bunch of stuff. I have to pack up and get ready to go. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Back away from the food. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Hey! This? Hey, Finn! Oh my gosh. Chino. Get away from his food! Dude, that's not for you. You are already fat. Get away from that food. Get. Yeah, I'm scary Laura. Just call me scary Laura. Everyone's scared of me. Right, Finny? See those ears? Scared of me. Get away. Honestly, did you ever think I'd be out here feeding the horses all by myself, standing in the middle of a herd of horses trying to steal each other's food? That had fat stuff in it that you do not need. Get the bugs off you. Great, now you made me lose the puppies. Puppies! All right, they're there, they're eating poop. Thank God we have a poop pile to occupy the puppies. Could you go a little faster, dude? Like, this is not fun for me. Listen, it could all be amazing if you just didn't try and eat their food. Love this pony. He loves his girl. Hey. No. No. All right, let's, whoa, wait till I get out. See if anybody tries to take food from Stormy Boy. Look, yours. you got lots of powder in there, dude. Look it all up. That's all the fat stuff you need. It's like, I want yours, Storm. Whoa. Storm's like, I'll take yours then. You do not need that. You do not need that. All right, give me your phone and let me text those girls. How about call them? Let me call those girls. Bring my dad on. <laughs> She's like, when I came downstairs, Gabby was sitting on her bed on her phone, not even getting dressed. Do you want to call her? I brought my phone. <laughs> Are you trying to get your sister in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> she probably won't answer 
because it's her sister's phone. You know there's going to be trouble when the mama phones. She's not going to answer it. Call Kaylee. Both of them are like, oh no, we better get dressed. Where's Houston? Oh, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Houston! Come here, puppy! Okay. I brought an apple. Oh, that was good. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. All right, so one thing's for sure. They're not dumb kids. They knew they were gonna get a blasting, that's for sure. Get down to the bar now! That was magic. The girls are already here. They're already here. Fast girls. Go out there and eat some grass, Missy. Oh, nice to see you beautiful girls down at the barn. Happy morning. I heard you guys up late last night. Crank phoning call subscribers. Somebody said in the comments, Gabby called me on Snapchat last night, but then she hung up on me. I was so excited, and then I got hung up on. Our phone died. <laughs> no, my phone was Good excuse. Like oh, is that why you hung up on the fan? Were you guys prank phoning fans? No, we were just bored, so we were calling random fans. You were calling random fans? Mm -hmm. Amazing mm -hmm. and scary. All right, let's put the horses in the field. You know how sometimes a nice mom turns into a mean mom, a mom who's ready to teach her kids? Well, that is me today. Because the girl stayed up super late, as you just heard, and struggled with the puppies, which was their responsibility. And now they're headed up to the house when chores aren't even done. You want me to bring two buckets of water bottles? Sure. Houston doesn't really love the other one because it makes noise and he's still kind of nervous about it. See, he asks her, he waits. She rules him over the food, which is weird because she doesn't, and now she'll drink that for five hours so that he can't have any. Yeah, she's coming. She's just giving the dog some water. There we go. All right, I'll bring that one too. Bring it up with you. Okay. Because he likes that one. Did Molly do all that water? Yeah, they both did. They've been having a great time. Ruby, uh, Ruby is so protective over me. Uh, I know. I she noticed. She thinks Houston's hurting me. I know. She's a Molly's mama. She's like, it's a good thing. She, well, she never had babies, so she doesn't know the whole thing. She doesn't understand it all. Drink, Houston. You need to poop. Who put all the food you ate. So for today's episode of what is in Laura's bra, also known as my bathing suit, I'm going to show you guys. It was an apple. Yep, I carried an apple in there today because that's what you do as a mother when your kid hands you something and says, can you carry this? But really, you're in the middle of a million things. Yep, you put it in your bra. Apple saved. All right, girls are having their breakfast and watching a little TV. They're waking up, preparing for a busy day. They are drinking peace tea because any good mom will know that when they have a sleepover, it's going to be wild. So get peace tea. That's what I did. That's what this mom did. I bought them peace tea. All right, so for snacks at the beach today, I am going to put peanut butter on these crackers and make peanut butter crackers. Uh, then we have cheese crackers. These are what Gabby requested. This is what Kaylee requested, which is uh, caramel nut granola bars. I didn't buy these. I think Sam bought these, so I'm going to leave those here for him. I am also going to cut up these watermelons that I bought because I think we need lots of fruit. I got juice boxes and water. As much cheese as we can eat. I love cheese, you guys. This is my favorite thing on earth. I don't really like this brand. I only like one brand. The rest tastes like plastic to me. But this was on sale and Sam was with me and he always freaks out if I don't buy what's on sale. So I bought this and we're going to eat it. And frozen grapes. Have you guys ever had frozen grapes? You just wash them, stick them in the freezer and let them freeze and then eat. Kaylee was not convinced that they'd be good. Oh my gosh. It's like the most delectable frozen treat you could ever. It's better than ice cream. And this is as good as ice cream. Sophie, be looking fly. I'm Sophia. Sophia today. Be looking fly. Her glasses are in here somewhere. Be looking fly in a bikini. So she's got with a glasses. I'm Emma. Oh, with glasses, you're Emma. Oh gosh, I can't keep my kids straight. Okay, so she's got this cute little shirt. I love it. And then she's got. Let's show the bottom. She's got cute little bikini bottoms on. What did what did uh, sh Kaylee say? She loves it. But what else did she say? Wear it and show the boys. Who's boss? And Sophie came downstairs and she actually looks adorable in it. Like, super adorable. It's just like a bikini top that goes, yeah. sorry, goes all the way to here. 
So it's not like super revealing, and right? Now I can tan. Yeah, but she's been wanting a bikini and we couldn't find one. But she just went together in her drawers and found everything she needed. Kaylee did. Kaylee did. <laughs> we all need a little Kaylee in our life to push us out of our comfort zone, right? So we're headed, we're like almost all packed up, ready to go. We're just waiting for the girls. I told them to come in and get ready. And to them, that means have a shower for five hours. Oh, that's Do Molly. She oh. stinks like horse poo. Oh, so Molly's having her second yeah, shower Yeah, that's what all that smell is. Oh, all right. So, Molly's having a shower. Because now the smell is gone, but mm -hmm. it stinks in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, Molly was stinking. I was looking everywhere for that smell. But anyway, so we're going to the beach. But before we go, a lot of you guys were commenting on Sophie's amazing video. Um, oh, wait, i got to butter my toast. Okay, sorry about that. I can only eat my toast if it's hot. I only like hot food, so I had to like put down everything so I could eat my toast. My toast and avocado for our breakfast. Okay, so here's the thing. Sophie yesterday said in her video that her legs were hurting because she was chubby. And then a lot of you guys were worried that she was feeling bad self-esteem or like she wasn't good enough. Do you feel not good enough? No? Okay, so here's this thing. I'm perfect the way I am. Yes, and when you are in a place inside your head that you know that you're amazing, you know that you're loved, and you love yourself above all. Right, Ruby? Then, when other people say mean things to you, it doesn't matter. Then you can be, then you can open up and be honest about everything about yourself. You can say, I'm fat, you can say I'm chubby, you can say, oh, I am not good at that. I suck at that. I need to work more on that. And when you do say it, it doesn't take away from your self-esteem because you already love yourself and you already know that you're amazing. So it allows yourself to acknowledge things that you need to work on. Do you need to work on being in better shape? Yeah, don't we all need to work on it? And we are working on it. Are we working on it? A little bit every single day. We might not show it all the time, but we are struggling and we are working to be our healthiest, best self. Why, why do we want to be our health, healthiest, best self? Is it because you want to be skinny and be looking awesome for the boys? So that we can be healthy. So we can be healthy. And do you think God wants us to be our best? Yeah, because he made us and he wants us to have the best life. Always the best life, right? Okay, so well, we... I have got the rainbow. I'm over here. I can't see it. It is windy but hot. We put the horses in. I gave the horses watermelon. Guess who liked watermelon, Kaylee? Finn hated watermelon. Finn would not eat watermelon. I couldn't You're even. Forgetting something. Oh God, I didn't bring the food. <laughs> All right. Molly is in the front seat. Oh. Could I um, please ask you to exit the vehicle? Could I please ask you to? So Gabby's practicing for her attend flight attendant. No. Her police no. officer license. She no. makes such a good police officer. Be a sniper. First defender. <laughs> A sniper. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. All right, we have the bag too. Cooler on the bag. Okay, so basically we put the horses in. Finn did not like watermelon. Chino and Storm loved it. Storm ate so much watermelon. He's like, give me more of this. Anything that's got green on it, he loves it. So. Storm loved the watermelon. Finn just kept putting his nose up and was like, get it away from me. So ponies are in the barn. Uh, big horses are in the indoor outdoor, the arena, but they're not outdoor where we put all their hay outside, but they're not eating it. We got the Kaylee, we got the, who are you today? Sophie? Sophia. Sophia. We got the Gabby or the Ella. Gabby. We got the cooler with all the food. We got the two puppies. I don't know if you can see them you both. Let's go right here. Sophia, be quiet. Here, put it right here in the middle. Um, and we are headed to, to the beach. It's been a really long time since I took all the kids, all my kids to the beach on my own. I used to do it all the time. I don't remember when. But I love it, it's so fun. I love just going out there, chilling, and spending time with my kids and my family. I get a lot of joy from it. Oh, um, we are going back to the clay beach because it's close and I can drive there, but this is probably the last time we'll go there for a while because after that we're going to explore beaches all summer. All right. Thank you, Molly, for looking. Road trip. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Can ready to go? No gum. No gum for Why you. Why can't everybody have gum because you're having Okay, one piece. All right, we are here and the girls want to go to the big beach, to the beautiful beach. The far one? The far one. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun. Today is an so official heat day. wave. So the girls always come, take the puppies out for a quick swim. I let them come in and then they go in the walk. So I don't know why, but the dogs feel like the towels are for them. Get off the towel. So over here, we can kind of let the dogs run and just keep an eye on them. So this is our little inlet. I was thinking over there would be nicer, but the girls wanted here. Come on, Houston. Come, come, come here. There's no shade for the food. None. Oh my god, I moved the towel so Ruby, so Molly wouldn't lay on them and she lays on them anyway. Aww. Puppy watch, like Bay watch, but puppy watch. I'm moving the towel. He's got it. No, he's got this. There we go. Lay down, have a rest. I told you guys this morning that he ate all the food. I think you guys should put sunscreen on. They need to tan. Today is all about tanning for the girls. Three minutes later, I'm going in the water. I cannot handle it. I can't hack it. I can't hack the heat. All right, so what are you guys gonna eat? We're gonna eat. We came all this way. Oh, I got crackers. Those are peanut butter and crackers. Those are, and then Kaylee, I got your granola bars. Cause you know that's what Kaylee likes. Or you can have cheese and crackers. You can have, and there's juice. All the drinks in there, Perfect fruit in there. Over there. Sophie's going for the peanut butter and crackers that I made. Um, that is my towel, thank you very much. The towel. We came all this way, like it's so hard walking here because the clay is so bumpy and, and nuts. Like it, you have to go slow and take every step. Finally we went in the water, it was the first time you ever swimming here, it was so nice. And the girls yeah. wanna go back to the beginning because it's warmer there. Can you believe it? They think it's warmer there. All right, okay, so this is our new destination, destination paradise. We came here. And I was able to make a little den there for the puppies. You see it? Shade. Molly's underneath there, though. We're going in the hole. Oh, push me. Oh, so we have all this beautiful water to swim. And the girls are hitting the hole. See the slimy hole? It's deeper than she thought. Oh, her scrunchie got dirty. This is what, <laughs> it's like a cab, he's covered in white. <laughs> Perfect sunscreen. Is it slimy on the bottom? Like, weeds? Weeds or just white stuff? It's slimy. I barely made it! Sophie, hey! It's their hot tub. It's the happening hot tub. Look at the babes in the hot tub. Some little kid just sat here for like hours digging that out and then the big teenagers came and took it over. Like, I'm not gonna lie, even I wanna go in there. It's like a, a spa. All right, I see the issue. If you look a little to the left, there's a boy. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but our girls are getting into the boys crazy stage. Oh. Not gonna lie, I'm about to go out again. I ran to the car and got the girls the mat so that the puppies can go swimming with them. Uh oh. <laughs> She's like, let me go too. <laughs> they all like each other. You guys will be proud to know that Molly met that lab and loved her because she was a respectful, kind lab. <laughs> Houston, oh, there goes Molly too. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. So I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for oh. some queen <laughs> bee too. bailing. Uh oh, grab him, Sophie, grab him! Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide.
mud spa. A mud bath. It's my swamp. So, Gabby's swamp. Ogre Gabby. I'd even like to go in it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I'm Yeah. <laughs> White too. Do it? Yeah. <laughs> and your face. <laughs> Gabby's an ogre. We just need to paint it green. to fall in the pond. If anybody falls, it'll be Gabby. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 